Hello everybody, I'm Storm here. Welcome back to the Horse Lord Mega Campaign in Stellaris. In the last episode, uh, we mopped up the remainder of the machine uprising in the Hasbuzan Syndicate, as well as managed to get the next stage of the archaeological site regarding the enigmatic pattern done. I think we're pretty getting pretty close to getting that done and then we'll see what happens from there. I think things are going to go sideways when it does, but we'll see. So yeah, we're just kind of working through uh, things as usual and waiting to see what happens. So let's go ahead and fire up. Get things moving as fast as they will. Sort of didn't know what I was getting into a little bit when I made a galaxy of this size, but a I... Oh well. Alright. Ah, you finished. So, let's go ahead and get you a hangar bay and a missile battery. And then upgrade. There we go. Scientific breakthrough achieved. And we can put more defenses in. But we're actually going to wait until it finishes upgrading before we put more defenses in. Uh, resource source capacity, good. And... Energy weapon attack speed. Relic action now available. Just trying to see if there's maybe anything that gave unity, and there really, really isn't. Passive effect unity, so we'd only need to activate it for that. Weapons damage, militarist ethics attraction, no. Opinion, sublight speed, FTL speed. Well, I guess we'll just go ahead and hit the head again and uh increase the pilgrims the size of the pilgrims fleet once more fifty one K very nice That fleet is starting to come up to a really good, respectable size and strength. Uh, 18th fleet is not fully reinforced yet. Uh, it should be. We're not building any ships. Maybe it's just waiting for someone to reinforce in. Scientific breakthrough achieved. Edict duration. All right. I guess we'll go for leader lifespan again. We haven't had a leader die in a long time. What are you short? Nothing.
And why are we complaining that you're only a 99% strength? You don't need repairs. You don't need reinforcements. What? I don't know. Maybe it's just a math error. Entirely possible. Mega structures are coming along. We're building that mega art installation. Probably build a few more of those. with this. Roll outcomes. 40%. Result is 14 or greater. Finish this chapter. Let's see, we got 11 last time. Scientific breakthrough achieved. Construction complete. All right, defense platform damage. Give me kinetic weapon attack speed. Archaeological site complete. All right, what does it say? It worked. We were able to solve the entrance mechanism to open the sphere. After countless attempts, the intelligences were able to determine the order the drones needed to apply the different stimuli in was coherent with the harmonic frequency of the gravitational waves that the black hole the sphere was orbiting is emitting. Why the creators of the sphere would secure the mechanism this way is absolutely unknown, but it doesn't really matter. The sphere is open. We can unveil its all of its mysteries. Situation log updated. We got 50 minor artifacts, issues, special object, special project, exploration of the sphere. All right. I don't. Oh, there, they're there. Exploration of the sphere. Scientist is present as one science ship in orbit. Refinishes in 500 days. <laughs> All right, well, hit it. We got 500 days to burn. Well, nothing looks different yet.
The Veterisius High Kingdom is now going to guarantee the independence of the next sentience. Alright. You guys still at war? Yeah, you're still at war. We are improving their attitude. Spaceport. Pirates in the Bernard Star system. Initiating tactical they're, retreat. They're not going to be able to do anything. Though I did have a science vessel there. I could send Nix in. Sure. Uh, but the battle will probably be over before this, uh, becomes, uh, an issue. Or, before it arrives. So the strike forces are going to be deployed. There are ion cannons in the system that can wipe out pretty much anything that... They're going to run into. And yeah. Fight's over. And hey. There's a couple of defense platforms. Alright. Get back to assisting research like you were doing before. This isn't even like an upgraded station. It's an outpost. Yeah, this is actually a fairly decently defended system. I don't know why the pirates decided that that would be a good idea to attack. Scientific breakthrough achieved. All right. Well, their funeral. Energy credits from jobs. The Valdari Citizen Commonwealth is becoming more spiritualist. I'm actually going to go ahead and move Nyx back to Earth orbit. We're going to send the Nanite Interdictor to the Bernard Star system. Send the loyal brood to the Groombridge 34 system.
it looks like Zarklands Pilgrims have merged. 524.5k combat power now. Now, just out of curiosity, I want to go take a look at one of the fallen empires. Which there hasn't been anything happening between the fallen empires at all, which is a little bit surprising. We power pathetic, technology inferior, and economy pathetic. Yeah, we can basically overrun the Fallen Empires, no problem. No, no, that's not the other one. Uh, there. The Hydari Conservers. Pathetic and Fear Pathetic, yep. What's your combat power fleet? 69k. <laughs> yeah, nothing. And, uh... The other guys? Look like you have a bigger fleet. 292,000. And an attack moon. Well, that would be able to put up much more of a fight. But, not for very long. Military power of the station is 239k. Not bad. Yeah, we would lose some ships, but, you know, it, it wouldn't last very long. The Silicron Index was given association status by the Stellar Entente. Okay. Scientific breakthrough achieved. What do we got? Kinetic weapon attack speed. Okay. Oh, sentient metal tier seven. Grab it. Let's see. The seventh generation of sentient metal technologies developed as a result of studying the secrets of the ever changing. It is comprised of the technology for a new type of titan-sized turret, which makes use of uh, sentient metal for both aiming at targets, tracking them, and damaging them. An even more advanced type of sentient metal armor. Well, we may have to take a look at that once that's done. My sentient metal production. Yeah, we're still losing nanites. All right. I know I've been suggested to just add some in via console, but I'm trying to avoid that. I mean, if push comes to shove, I might do that, but... We'll see. We still have some time. Plus 465 sentient metal with 419,000 in the bank. Yeah, I think we're I think we're good. If I do decide to switch to sentient metal equipment again, 
Then I'll have to run the entire fleet through upgrades again. I'm not so sure I necessarily want to do that right now. Well, the Stellar System Craft is in this system. It is a shipyard. Is it not? No, the Stellar System Craft is in that system. Actually, let's do this. Let's move it to the Kebderon system. It shouldn't take too long. I mean, it should just jump right over. 76 days. It, it's a slow beast. Scientific breakthrough achieved. Zarkland's pilgrims can head to the Screeching Abyss. Army health. Army damage. Let's just go with the army damage first. And let's send the 15th fleet to the Screeching Abyss just to kind of compensate for moving the system craft out of there. Because in case I do want to do upgrades, the Screeching Abyss has shipyards, and it also has the the Soul, which itself is also a shipyard. So if we can bring the Stellar System Craft over here, it means we can keep these fleets in system and upgrade them at the same time. Two hundred and fifty days. Scientific breakthrough achieved. And she grabs some jobs. Energy weapon damage. Artisan troop, yep, yeah, we're gonna keep supporting the artisan troop because that's a unity. Actually. Surprised I wasn't doing that already. Get research boost. Trader Enclave. Uh, they only give rare crystals, so it's not really that useful. I want the situation log. I want to go to contacts, please. Here's another trade. Play the slots, open a reliquary. <laughs> no. No, no, no. Uh, artisan troop. Yeah, there we are. Yeah, it's the top.
organize a festival across our worlds. We're going to do a festival that that's going to require all of our artists to bring their talent on an easy job or cheap. I'll do a thousand credits. I mean, I have a million energy credits. Opinion, happiness, and pop growth speed. The pop growth speed doesn't really do anything for me, but you know what? We'll, we'll hold the thing because why not? I was wondering if they might be able to do anything special with, uh, with, a, with, uh, Unity. You see, hold on, I can filter these out. We don't, we don't need them, we don't need them. Oh, non-player, yes, of course. Uh, what are you offering? Volatile moats. Nah. And what are you offering? Exotic gases. Unneeded. No, not these guys. Where were the... Was it these guys? The traitors? Yes. I have... Quasi-negative mass. Pop grow speed. Another Prothorum Brood Queen. Nope, none of those are really all that interesting. Another Bountiful system wouldn't be bad, but we don't really need more resources. We're doing pretty well. How much longer on this project? 170 days. All right, it's getting there, but I think that we're getting toward the end of the episode. So, go ahead and call it here. And also, still just waiting on things to get done building 279 days all right scientific breakthrough achieved right, there's the sentient metal sentient metal forge The sentient metal forge siphons from the ever-changing and self-replicates, creating sentient metal and quasi-negative mass. Mega structure. Well, that sounds interesting. I'll we'll probably be wanting to build that. Assuming, of course, we're going to be using sentient metal. We'll see. But that might be something yeah, we'll look at in next episode. So, for now, we'll stop here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.